Hello again, uh, welcome to Ukulele Workshop. This is video number three. Uh, today we'll be learning two more chords, the F chord and the G7 chord. But let's have a two second review of our old chords, the C and the A minor. Remembering that C is there, so you want to use your ring finger for C, and then we're using finger two for A minor. And your job was to be able to do two sets of four each. So in music we would call them a bar. So the four counts or four strums would equal one bar. So we're doing two bars each like this. So C, one, two, three, four. Ready for A minor? Three, four, change. One, two, three, four. Think about C, get finger three ready, three, four, C, two, three, four, again, thinking ahead, hovering, lift off a little early, one, two, three, four, ready for C, two, three, four, one. One of the great things about ukulele is that many chords are similar to other chords. So the first chord we're going to learn is F, is very similar to A minor. Remembering that A minor was just finger two like that. To turn that into F, leave finger two down, add finger one there. So that's string two, fret one with finger one. So finger two, where we've played A minor, and then add finger one. And that's the F chord. So let's try a little pattern, C, A minor, then F, two bars each. So one, two, three, four, C, C again, ready for A minor, three, four, chain, one, two, three, four, one, think about F, add finger one, four, one, two, three. Now think about C, finger three hovering, lift off early. One, two, three, four. Ready for A minor? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Ready for F? Add finger one. One, two, three, four. Now think about C. Get hovering, change early. One, two, think about A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ready for the F chord? Finger one, ready? Drop it on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's our other new chord, G7. So we've got our F chord happening. Now remember, which is A minor plus finger one. So to turn this into G7, we're going to leave finger one on, bring finger two down a string, and now add finger three in there. So we've got finger um, two is on string three, fret two. Finger one is on string two, fret one, and then finger three is on string one, fret two. So G7's got three fingers on it. It's got a really nice sound. And like all seventh chords, they have a bit of an agitated sound. You know, and not as nice and calm as the majors and the minors. So there's our G7 chord, finger two, finger one, and finger three. So let's do a pattern, C to A minor, to F, then to G7. Remember, two bars each, with all our thinking ahead, fingers hovering, um, lifting off a little bit early. So here we go, one, two, three, four, C, two, C again, finger two ready, two, three, four, one, two, now think 
about F. Just add finger one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ready for G7? Finger three, ready. One, two, three. Now ready for C? Just slide finger three out. Slide out one, two, three, four. Ready for the A minor? Two, three, four, one, two. Now we leave finger two down. Ready, finger one gets added. One, two, three. Now finger one stays down. One, two, three, four, one. Think about C, slide out, move early, one, two, plan your A minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ready for F, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, plan G7, G7, one, two, three, Okay, this time we'll mix the chords up into a different pattern, um, a pattern that I call home bass, where C is going to become the home bass or the main chord. So C to A minor, back to C, then the F, back to C, then the G7. Let's try that. Again, two bars each. Now keep thinking ahead. Keep planning what's coming up. So we start on C. But already I would be thinking of the A minor. Keep your finger up there ready. Okay, one, two, three, four, go. C. Now thinking A minor. So finger two's ready. Change chord. One. Now think about C again. Finger three ready. Change back. One, two, three. Ready for F, two fingers ready. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Ready for C again? Four, one. Now G7, to get fingers two and one ready. Two, three, four, one, two. See finger three slides back. One, ready for C? Slide it out to fret three. One, finger two should be up, waiting, A minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Think about your C chord, two, three, four, one, two. Now think about F, try and get fingers two and one hovering, three, four, one, two, three, four. Prepare C. Three, four, change. Fingers two and one, ready for G7. Symbol to F. Three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll go back again, ready for C. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Ready for A minor. One, two, three. Back to C, three, four, one. Remember just lifting off a little early. Ready for F, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here comes C again. Three, four, one, two, three. Ready for G7. Two, three, four, one, two, three. We'll finish on C, one strum, three, four, one. Let's expand our strumming. So at the moment we've been doing four strums in every bar. Each of them is a down strum towards the floor. What we'd like to do now is for the four counts in the bar, do two strums. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Often this is counted as 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's have a look using our pointer finger. So we want to keep the pointer finger quite, sorry, keep the hand quite still and just be flicking the pointer finger. So we'll do it with no chord hand. So we just put all our brain power into thinking of the strum. So it's a flick down, flick up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's try it with the thumb. Some people love to play with the thumb. So again, down and up. One and two and three and four and 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 now here's the pick and we're trying to hold the pick just with the thumb and your pointer finger you don't want to have those other fingers in there it just um, really slows down the strumming routine so you watch this again just down and up one and two and three and four and 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 so all of those possibly look easy um, but they just take time to get used to, making them sound very sweet, be very gentle as you hit the strings. Generally nice wide strums, gives you a much better sound on the strings. And we'll look to use those strummings um, in the next video. Thank you. The goals for video three are to be able to mix the four chords, C, A minor, F and G7 um, in two different orders C, A minor, F, G7 and then C as a home base C, A minor, C, F, C, G7 still just doing the four down strums and then the second thing is to work on your new strum the down and up strum the one and two and three and four and so good luck with those and We'll see you shortly with video four. Bye.